So hi, hello and welcome again, Microbe Hunter here, I'm Oliver and uh, today I would like to show you one of my favorite microscope slides, this one over here, but I have to tell you that uh, not everyone might like it because uh, the specimen here is a little bit, um, I don't know, unique maybe as you could say, it's because it's the tail of a monkey, the cross section of the tail of a monkey, it's an anatomical slide and it is also an antique slide, so the slide here is probably around a hundred years old um, and I like the slide uh, specifically because uh, it's very educational even though the, um, I might understand that not everyone might like uh, the idea that they actually sectioned the tail of a monkey and put it here on this microscope slide but it's actually quite um, interesting in the sense that you're able to see many interesting anato anatomical details that I would like uh, to, to share with you. So unfortunately this slide suffers the same problem like many slides uh, and that is it's missing a date right um, uh, but uh, as a matter of fact um, yeah because uh, of this beautiful ring shaped uh, uh, yeah slide ringing here um, I think that could be um, also a brand uh, indicator and so maybe this was actually made by uh, I hope at least uh, um, a well-known slide manufacturer back in the day um, yeah so let's do the following let's carefully put it under the microscope and I would simply like to show you some of the anatomical details that we're able to see here yeah so let's have a quick uh, general um, overview over here yeah so this is the cross section again um, here in the center, this yellow ring-shaped structure in the center here, that is um, actually the bone that has been um, also cut quite nicely. And so that's uh, the, the bone um, of, uh, of the tail. And what you are able to see here is, is uh, these are one, uh, two, three, and four. These are muscles. Uh, so you can actually see that uh, the, yeah, the tail can be controlled and moved into the Y and the X, the X and the Y axis. Yeah? So for each um, axis of, of movement, you have a, a, a pair of muscles so bone in the here in here muscles on the side and those round structures here which we're going to have a, a more detailed look on in just a minute um, are the tendons and those tendons they connect the muscles to the bone um, to be able to pull it but one of the nice things that we also are able to see here is um, yeah um, this uh, structure over here that is um, a, a blood vessel as a matter of fact it's an artery that carries blood um, away from the heart and uh, I know that it's an artery and not a vein because by looking at the extremely thick uh, wall um, of the blood vessel but let's have a closer look um, on the um, yeah by zooming in and this here is a close-up uh, look now um, at uh at the blood vessel here of course the blood is not uh, present anymore it's uh, been removed uh, during the preparation process but let's have a closer look now at these uh, dark uh, uh, structures that you have over here um, um, also here on, on the side you're able to see those um, and these are actually the cross sections of the fur of the hair um, yeah, because of course uh, the tail of a monkey is, is very uh, furry right and uh, over here you can also see that uh, one of the hair how it's growing out of the hair follicle the hair follicles are those uh, cells that actually make uh, make the hair and uh, yeah it looks uh, basically yeah, like cut so it's not continuous because it's a very thin cross section and of course the hair um, of the, has been cut uh, also diagonally yeah? so when we're looking around here we can actually see um, yeah quite nicely um, that uh, yeah those uh, um, fur the hair always is oriented outwards because that's um, how the fur is growing it's growing of course away from from the tail um, another thing I want to show you here in the center um, this white uh, stuff that you see here that is uh, also called adipose tissue adipose that is um, fat tissue right um, and uh, yeah, because the tail um, contains also a lot of fat because I think maybe also because of insulation temperature insulation yeah? and here we can again see the tendon a little bit in, yeah, slightly more enlarged and over here um, again the muscle right so um, I would say a, a very nice uh, specimen here again the other bone in, in the center um, and uh, yeah maybe I can actually show you also the the bone cells yeah let me refocus yeah all of those uh, tiny dots that you see in here these are the individual bone cells because of course bone is a um, yeah a live tissue um, and uh, therefore it's, it's growing it's being repaired therefore of course it's filled uh, with cells yeah um, 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 as well yeah I, I personally like this sample a lot again because of its uh, um, yeah, let's turn down the light again, a high educational value, but uh, again, I do understand if not everyone uh, feels comfortable viewing uh, those slides, uh, but I simply wanted to share it uh, with you um, again, uh, and uh, from, from my side, that's all I have for you today. Wish you all the best, happy microbe hunting as always, and uh, see you in the next video, and if you like these videos, uh, I would be happy if you were to subscribe to this channel. All the best, bye-bye.